Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Adventures. High above. The Sensational Six are going on a balloon ride. They couldn't have done it without help from Tootles. Tootles brought Minnie an air pump. We've got ears. Say cheers, everyone shouts. Soon the balloon will be full of air. Then the adventure will begin. They will sail high above the trees. They will sail right over Mickey's clubhouse. We. Flying is fun. There is so much to see. From high in the sky the trees look like green gumdrops. Sunlight glitters on the water in a backyard swimming pool. Someone has planted a garden in the shape of a heart. Only Donald is afraid to look. Being so high in the sky scares him. Soon their ride comes to an end. They land on top of a purple pyramid. Flying was fun, but everyone is glad to be on land again. Donald is so happy, he kisses the ground. Road Trip The car is jam-packed. The Sensational Six are going on vacation. They plan to have fun in the sun and sand. They're bringing a beach umbrella, a beach ball, and a sand pail and shovel. They can hardly wait to feel the sand under their feet. Hmm, Mickey says. We must have made a wrong turn. There's plenty of sand, but this is no beach. It's a desert. Mickey sees one tall desert cactus. Minnie counts two sand lizards. They decide to drive a little farther. They need to find the beach. Soon they find themselves in a new place. It is warm like the beach, but it is not the beach. The moss beneath their feet feels moist. There are long vines trailing from the trees. They are in a rainforest. Donald spies three colorful tree frogs. Daisy counts four birds. Time to move on. This place is really cool. It might be a little too cool, though. The ground is covered with snow. Goofy counts five seals. Pluto barks at six penguins. Gosh, can you tell us where the beach is? Goofy asks the seals. The seals just smile. Time to move on again. Where will they end up next? Soon they come to a green grassy meadow. Mickey is surprised to see seven brown baby deer. Minnie is enchanted to find eight fluffy bunnies. It is lovely here, but it's not the beach. They've been so many places. They've seen so many things. When will they see the beach? Hooray! They are at the beach. Mickey sees nine starfish lying on the sand near ten red lobsters. Pluto barks at the seagulls flying overhead. Minnie wants to wade in the water like the white waterbirds. Goofy wants to jump in like the leaping dolphin. There's fun for everyone at the beach. Picnic Daisy sees a bush bursting with fat blueberries. Yum! She picks blueberry after blueberry until her arms are full of berries. The berries will make a sweet and delicious feast. At home Daisy washes the blueberries. Then she puts them in a big green bowl. Something's missing, though. Daisy goes back outside. That's it. A nice juicy watermelon is just the thing. Daisy cuts the watermelon and puts it in the bowl with the blueberries. There is still time for one more thing. Mmm. Pineapple would make the blueberries and watermelon taste even better. While Daisy is busy in the kitchen, Donald is having trouble at the grocery store. He reaches for a lemon when, oops. Lemons fly everywhere. No, stop. Donald shouts. But the lemons just keep coming. Donald finishes making his lemonade just in time. He even adds a little bit of cherry juice. Mickey mans the grill. Minnie helps hand out the hot dogs. Daisy's fruit salad is a big hit with Goofy. So is Donald's lemonade. There is something for everyone at the picnic. Even Pluto is happy with his big fat bone. Mickey's Map Adventure 
Mickey's friend Goldilocks has invited him to a picnic. The invitation includes a map. Mickey is going to use the map to find his way to Goldilocks' house. First he has to cross the river. Hmm, how can he do that? Tootles to the rescue. Tootles offers a rope, a shovel, a jar of fireflies, and a rowboat. Mickey chooses the rowboat. Then he rows himself across the river. The next thing on the map is a tall mountain range. Mickey sees it as soon as he reaches the opposite bank of the river. Time to climb, he tells himself. Climbing the mountain is fun. It is good exercise, too. Mickey reaches the top in no time. He looks around at the amazing view. Mickey doesn't dawdle, though. He does not want to be late for Goldilocks' picnic. On the other side of the mountain he sees a forest. According to the map, Mickey has to go through it. But it looks so dark in there. Mickey needs Tootle's help. Can Mickey use the rope? Can he use the shovel? He can use the jar of fireflies. Their friendly light will help Mickey find his way through the woods. When Mickey reaches the pond, he knows he is headed in the right direction. The map shows a path through the pond. Sure enough, there are big stones to walk on. Mickey thinks this place looks like a good home for the fireflies. He lets them go before he hops onto the first stone. Now the map shows lines going over a stony peak. So that's what Mickey has to do. There is just one problem. When he got to the top, the other side is too steep to walk down. It is time to ask Tootles for help. Mickey uses the rope. He ties one end to a big rock and carefully lowers himself down the cliff. Mickey is getting hungry for that picnic. The map shows a stone wall, but this time the line goes under the wall. The shovel is all that Tootles has left. That means Mickey has to dig his way under the wall. The shovel makes it easy. Once Mickey gets under the wall, it isn't long before he arrives at the picnic. There is porridge for Goldilocks and the three bears, of course. But there are hot dogs, too. Mmm, my favorite. Mickey cheers.